Hello YouTube family and welcome to the next episode of This and That. Yes it is, your boy Rosie, your soon to be number one YouTube host. Alright family, we're coming to you today with a special edition of This and That and it's for a viewer by the name of Miss Cheryl Norris. She came to us with a question on the George Foreman Jr. She picked up one second hand and she wants to know how to clean it. So, with that being said, let's show her how we clean the George Foreman Jr. We'll be right back. Y'all stay tuned. Cheryl, this one's for you. All right, YouTube family. Cheryl has a unique situation. Same as mine, as a matter of fact. She picked up a George Foreman second hand. And if you a long time viewer of the channel, you know that I picked mine up second hand, so to speak. I picked it up through my granddaughter. When she moved into her husband's grandmother's house, they had a George Foreman Jr. there. She didn't know how to use it. They didn't care to use it. So they gifted it to me. I had no instruction manuals. There was a few videos online, but there was not a whole lot to go on. So I had to figure it out for myself. So we're not gonna put Cheryl through that today. We're gonna show her how we clean it. Now her main question was, how do you clean the glass on the George Foreman? She wanted to know how do you clean that? When I first got it, I didn't know how to clean it either. So I would take it and I would clean it as far as I could get it here. It would keep my hand inside. And I would take like a, you know, a sock or a rag and try to reach as far in as I could. So me being the curious George that I am, I had to figure out how to get that thing clean. I know that some, that a company of that magnitude would not make a, a unit that wasn't totally accessible to uh, the user. So with that being said, I started to twirl around with it. And this is what I found out, Cheryl. Take this thing, if you can see right here. Let me move this out of your way. Right here, you see these grooves? Well, right here is an indention. And if you pull this thing back, you'll see the grooves right here. It goes all the way around. That indention, you take that, you put it right in the indention, kind of pull up some pressure, and boom. This whole unit pops off. You gotta position it just right. Now, I don't even know whether I should let y'all look at mine or not. I keep mine in the uh, hog pen now, in my shed. I keep all my outdoor cooking utensils in the shed. When I'm ready to use them, whether it's in the house or out here, I drag them out. The George Foreman has been sitting in that humid shed for about ooh, six, eight months now, and she looks hard. But that's why I decided to go ahead and instead of just answering Cheryl's question, in the uh, comment section, I decided to go ahead and do a video because I don't know if she is the only one who may have that question. It took me months to figure out that this thing came uh, totally apart. Somebody else may have the same issue. All right, Cheryl, with that being said, oh, and by the way, y'all stick around, it's gonna be a short video. Y'all stick around to the end of the video and I'm going to tell you what Cheryl has inspired for me to do and I think it's gonna help you it's going to help the channel and it's going to help me. So y'all stick around to the end of the video. All right, Cheryl. If y'all know I got like a running water, I got a faucet out here, my fishing table. So uh, can y'all see that? Can I spin y'all around? I got my, uh, uh, the mailbox is in the way. All right, but anyway, got my fishing table right here. So I got running water. Just going to take this thing. We're going to spray the rag with a little bit of Dawn this detergent. I also have a brush and we're going to get in that thing and we're just going to clean her up real quick. And we're probably going to need, sure, we're probably going to need something kind of uh, abrasive to get this kind of stuff out of here. But you get the idea. I mainly want to just show you how that door came off because that was your concern is how do you get in there and clean this glass? And that's how you do it. 
And I'm not gonna bore y'all with my cleaning process, but you're gonna get in there with a brush, get that all cleaned up, knocked out, take some Windex or whatever cleaner that you feel safe using, clean that up front and back, and then you take it, make sure the George Foreman is straight up, knobs are on the bottom, just take it and sit it back in place, and just slide it along until she falls back in place, and boom, there you have it. Good as new, Cheryl. All right, Cheryl. Now, as I was telling y'all, uh, Cheryl, I hope that answers your question. Uh, if you have any more questions about it, you know, it, hopefully it had came with the tray. And this thing is old, like I said, it's been probably 20 years old, 15 years old, one of the first ones probably purchased. Uh, my, uh, my daughter's uh, husband's grandmother, I think she's in her late 80s. She probably bought this thing back when it first came out. And for those of y'all who have been around the channel for a while, when I first bought this thing, let me turn that around so you can see it. When I first bought this thing, a few people pointed out, I even had this in backwards, upside down. But this is the shield, and Cheryl, that shield comes out. You can just slide it all the way out, and slide it back in, and I gotta clean all this up. That's starting to rust. Starting to look really bad. Hmm. But we're gonna see gonna we clean this thing up, and that'll be in a future video. Perhaps we'll get this thing all shined up. And I know you're saying to yourself, he has to clean his Big Easy, he has to clean his George Foreman's, uh, he has to clean his Hot Logics. I have a lot of cooking utensils, but I'm a lazy cook, and I've told y'all on the channel before, I don't like cleaning. That's why I try to make everything on this channel real simple. Somebody even pointed out to me the other day that I need to paint my barbecue pit while I was painting the uh, the uh, Big Easy Turkey Fryer. My view, my point of view on these things are, if I if this grill perhaps has a 10 year life expectancy, if it makes it to 10 years, I cover it up, the wind blows the cover off, but if it makes it to 10 years, everything after that is bonus. As they say here in Louisiana, it's lanyard, it's extra. And once it passes the expiration date, anything I get out of it from there on is extra. And I'm just that type of person. I really, I, I don't take good care of my stuff. I should do better. Y'all do better than me. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Take better care of your stuff. But with that being said, Cheryl, I hope this was helpful. And as promised, I told y'all I had, uh, Cheryl had inspired me to do something slightly different. And here's what I have in mind. If I get a question in the comment section, if y'all don't mind, when you ask a question that is a first time question that I hadn't addressed on the channel that could possibly become good content and that we could share it with others, I'm planning on doing, a, doing you a video and giving you a shout out just like I have for Cheryl today. And if you don't mind, I if you ask good questions that, like I said, that can be addressed in a video, then you get your own video, so to speak. That helps me to create content. I'm not searching for content. It answers your question, and it gives you a little 10 minutes of fame here on our small, small channel, this and that. And I call it our channel because it is. I feel like we're a family. I have a couple of people who really, really, who they come in for every video, they comment on every video. And by the way, for those of you well wishers, when I told y'all that I was C word free, and a lot of y'all are just like me, you really don't like using the word, it's just bad karma. But when I told y'all I was C word free, I could tell in the comments that y'all sincerely cared and you sincerely were happy for me and my family. And for that, I thank y'all. Now, enough of that. Now, so y'all, like I said, got a legitimate question. If it's already been answered in a previous video, I will go ahead and answer it in the comment section. We may address it briefly in a uh, video, but if it has not been asked and answered, you may get your own video, Cheryl. That's right. You inspired me to do that for whatever reason. But all right, family. So I cared on enough. I think that answered the question. I hope this video uh, helped someone other than Cheryl. And oh, by the way, 
I promised y'all that we were going to do a deep clean on the air fryer. And that's coming next. While I got this broke down, we're going to go ahead and do a deep clean on it. And then I'm going to bring the air fryer outside. And we're going to do a deep clean on that as well. I like being outside, y'all. The weather here in Louisiana, cold in the afternoons, but kind of warm, 65, 70 during the day. I don't like being inside. So, yes, I'm bringing the air fryer outside. Most of my videos are going to be doing it in the hog pen, weather permit. All right, family, I carried on long enough. And as usual, and like in the last couple of videos, y'all just hit the like button. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. Just tell me if you like or dislike the content. Was the content helpful? Did I deliver it well? Just give me a like or a dislike, and we'll move forward from there. All right, family. If y'all enjoyed this video, you know what to do. It's your boy, Rosie. Y'all have a great day. Peace.